Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the handgun skill guide. Um, and yes, after this, we're just going to do a quick overview of all the skills in strength and, of course, strength itself. Okay, now, handguns is, of course, basically the same as rifles. Okay, if we go look at rifles, it says reload time, change position, which means ADS, how fast you can aim, recoil, shooting accuracy. Now, if we go to handguns, reload, ADS, recoil, shooting accuracy, okay? So, basically the same, and the only thing that would make advanced handguns a must for me is if we can use the revolvers that we really love without this. Now, you guys see how slow that is, okay? You guys might think, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Well, I am very, I'm very sorry to say, guys, but if you use the old weapons, can you see that? Do you see that? Oh, that's a light weapon. Okay, let's use the Desert Eagle then. How long does it take the Desert Eagle to, to aim? Whoa! Whoa! I think the Desert Eagle is quite heavy. Whoa! 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 Okay. Now let's go back to the judge from The Walking Dead, which we all want to use. Whoa! 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 Okay, guys. And if you guys thought that ADS time was quick, I've got no handgun skill. Okay. If you thought me aiming down the sights with that pistol was quick, I have got no handgun skill. So, you know, how much faster than that can I get? Now, because I've tested all the skill, guys, I want you to remember this. Whoa. 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 Okay? Compared to a very heavy weapon, which is the Desert Eagle. Bah! Okay, so how much faster can the ADS get? And will the ADS speed help us with the revolvers that almost nobody uses at the moment? Because it's got less rounds, it's got a little bit more firepower, <laughs> not versus the Desert Eagle, of course. Not really versus the Desert Eagle, guys. Let's just spawn in a normal puppet here quickly. Uh, yeah. This guy. Okay. So. This is good. This is good. Very slow. Okay. Now let's take the... The armored one. We take the... We take the military armor. Okay. See me. Two, three, three shots. Okay, so how much better is it? Not much better at all. And this one takes seven rounds, where the other one takes six rounds. Okay, and when I reload, like I'm just going to go to the judge quickly. Let's look at the reload time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And now we can go look at the normal pistol time. So let's reload this magazine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Okay. Now we can reload it. Reloading isn't too bad. And then we can shoot it. So how much weaker is this? Holy shit. Not much weaker. Okay. So 
Yes, of course the Desert Eagle does more damage, guys. I mean, of course the Desert Eagle is going to do more damage. One, two, three. Okay, I don't want you guys to get confused about that. The Desert Eagle and the Revolver does do more damage, okay? Okay, definitely, definitely does more damage. But, I mean, if you can use a Desert Eagle, you know, instead of a Revolver, why would you? Okay, just to be clear, it does more damage. So, at the end of the day, I can still use a 9 more effectively. Okay. How much faster than that do I really want to shoot with no handgun skill? Now, all the shots aren't precisely in place, but let's go look at what the handgun skill does for us. From no skill, right up to advanced. How much is it going to help us? Okay, so here we are back, guys, with fantastic character with advanced handguns. So, how much faster would do we feel the ADS is now? Not major. Okay, well, um, how about the revolver? Now that we're, we've got now that we've got ten million points in handguns, is it going to help us? Ooh. Ooh. Bleh. 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 No, it's not going to help us, guys. Not going to help us much. So, the day they let advanced handguns. The day they allow me to ADS a revolver as fast as I can ADS an M9, you know, a 9mm pistol, then I'll consider it. But I can promise you guys, this has killed me. You can think to yourself, you are running. You see a player. You aim this way, okay? The player that wants to kill you, probably using this, if, he's, if he knows his pistols, the player that wants to kill you does this. Okay? Much, much different. Okay, so now let's just load this gun quickly. See how fast this is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just take seven rounds. Now we can reload. So the other guy that runs and sees you. Okay, that's what he can do. That's what he can do to you. What can you do to him? Okay, and how much faster do we reload? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it clearly helps you with the reloading, and it definitely helps you a little bit with your recoil, guys. We, we get back to where we want to be. Uh, there's no recoil control there, okay? So we get back to where we want to be quite quickly. Let's reload this magazine quickly here. Of course, this is going to be quick as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay? Definitely a lot faster. We can change to our gun and know the magazine. And, you know, like the ADS, I'm going to stand up. The ADS is much, much better, guys. Okay, there's almost no movement. So there's almost no recoil, which is the only thing that I would focus on, the recoil, okay? But how many times are you going to use a pistol? How many times is that going to save your life? And are you ever going to use a revolver? You can use it for fun, guys. But as you can see, the difference in ADS. So when we go look at the skill again, the difference in, a, in reload time, yes. We can clearly see a difference in reload time. The ADS time, not really worth it. You know, from no skill to advanced skill, not a, I, don't, I can't see a major difference there. Recoil. 
I can definitely see a difference. Okay, and then it says shooting accuracy is better. Of course, with less recoil, your shooting accuracy is going to get better and maybe your bullets goes where it wants to go. Okay, but when it comes to leveling it up in game, like we've... Um, let me check how much bullets do I have. Let's see. Yeah, guys, leveling it up is basically the same. Okay, it, it is quite fast to level it up. Okay. Okay, so that was that was about four shots. Okay. Now, of course, we're advanced, but basically, you're not going to take very long to level it up. The, the, the use of taking it at the beginning of the game, again, I'd give it a two. Okay, I, I compare it to rifles. Although the recoil is, I'd give it a one, guys. I'd give it a one because the recoil with rifles makes a major difference. The recoil with handguns don't really make it major difference okay so starting with handguns i really give it a one or a zero okay i really don't see any point in putting skill points into it since you can level it up quite easily in events you know or just randomly shooting puppets you can craft nine more ammo very easily you know like you know you don't need a skill you know to craft nine more ammo guys nine more ammo you can craft with no skill okay you need medium to craft revolver ammo you know medium um yeah Yo, you need medium which is just not no i don't know i don't know i've got advanced engineering guys that's why i can that's why i can craft all the ammunition okay but okay and then leveling it up in game i'd give it a i'd give it a five out of ten okay i enjoy leveling up rifles much more in events because everyone's default is rifles but you know if you can find a group you know if you can make make like a pist you know tell everyone pistols only and they'll listen to you which is not always that easy but they if, if they are willing to listen to you then you can do a pistols only event you know and have some fun with pistols but of course you can level it up because crafting the ammo is not too bad guys so we're basically at the end of all the skills when it comes to strength. So when I have to look at it, brawling, never, okay? Never put points into brawling. Melee weapons, I put at number one. I put it as the most important skill because all the other skills won't take you that long to level up especially rifles and handguns because you can do events you're not really going to do archery events so it's melee weapons is number one to take to max out when you start your character okay if you don't want to max it out take medium melee weapons and medium archery okay or if you say you're never going to use a bow and you want to use a crossbow from the start then you take medium melee and medium rifles because rifles are going to help you to be quite good with the crossbow at the beginning of the game okay so the only three viable skills for me to take at your starting build is by a mile melee weapons it helps you a heck of a lot you you can clear a bunker with melee weapons and never make a noise you can kill a player with a melee weapon um, you know, it's just right through the game, it's viable. And then at end game, when you've got a character with eight strength and with advanced melee, you might not get to add more ad to advanced melee weapons in game, guys. That's a real grind. You're not going to kill that many puppets with a melee weapon so that you can get to um, advanced melee weapons end game. But if you start with advanced melee weapons, you know, you're just going to gain a lot of skill points because you're already at advanced. And then at end game, when you've got a katana with eight strength, you are a serious force to be reckoned with. Like, if you've got full body armor and a full helmet and someone takes you on in a bunker, if they don't rush you, first of all, you've got eight strength. Because you did events, you've 
you've got Advanced Plus rifles, guaranteed end game. Okay, if you do three events a day, you will have Advanced Plus rifles at end game. So first of all, if he doesn't want to come at you, your ADS time, you know, and your accuracy and your recoil, you know, is as good as it's going to get. But if he does rush you, if it gets to close quarters combat and you've got a katana, he's dead. He's basically dead, guys. He's got no chance. And then with the katana, you can, with the katana, advanced melee and eight strength, you can clear a bunker with your eyes closed. You can kill everything. You can literally do a speed run through any any bunker in the game. And I will prove that to you um, as soon as I reach eight, my 8555 character on Survival Evolved. Okay? Anyone that's wondering, that is my mission for the 0.7 update. To get to a character which is 8555 and then show you guys all the advantages. So secondly, I put it on archery. Because at the beginning of the game, if your server has got any PvE threat, and as you all know, um, after the 0.7 update, all my servers will have a PvE threat to a different degree, okay? Nothing as bad as the meat grinder, but Survival Evolved will definitely have a PvE threat, and then, of course, the Ultimate One Life server also has a PvE threat. When it comes to puppets and clearing bunkers silently, uh, a bow is just irreplaceable. There's nothing, puppets cannot pose a threat to you if you're good with a bow, okay, from a distance. And you can clear a bunker out quite silently. It doesn't cost you any ammo. The arrows are very easy to replace. And you can get to advance quite quickly, okay, quite quickly. Not as quick as you can with, not nearly as quick as you can do with rifles and events, but quite quickly, guys. So to boil it all down, in the strength of tribute, melee weapons for me is the most important skill to max out in your starting build. Second is archery. Third is rifles. Okay? It is your choice whether you start with a character that has advanced melee or advanced archery or advanced rifles. And then again, if you take a character with five strength and one constitution you can go advanced rifles, medium, uh, melee, basic archery, okay? You can switch that up. You can go um, medium archery, basic melee weapons, and advanced rifles, okay? You can always mix it up. But for me personally, melee weapons first, archery second, rifles third. Then if we look at the strength skill Okay, it says carry weight, melee damage, and calorie burning. Melee damage, that's why I said, guys. I think you guys are going to, your minds are going to be blown when I end up with a character with eight strength, with a katana, with advanced melee weapons. Okay, so carry weight, melee damage, and calorie burning. Okay, so it's going to affect the calories that you burn because you're, you're probably going to be extremely strong. Okay, Um but yeah, carry weight is important. It's not the end of the world, but it is important. But the thing is, again, how does a, how does a strong character help you? With recoil control. But when you've got advanced rifles, your recoil control is going to be very, very good. So where does eight strength really, really help you? Because even with three strength and advanced plus rifles, you are going to be able to kill just about anyone, okay, in a fair fight. So why do we need eight, why do we need eight strength? Carry weight, melee damage, melee damage, melee damage, guys. That is why melee weapons wins, because by the time you get to a character with eight strength and you've got advanced plus um, weaponry, you will be a beast with the sledgehammer, with an axe, with the pickaxe. You can play with. Almost, not, 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 not a shovel, please. Nobody use a shovel or a freaking wooden sword, okay? But with all heavy weapons, you are going to have a ton of fun and you're going to feel like a real badass. And then, you know, when you get a katana, you're going to be a lethal killer. And that's why I say, guys, melee weapons just goes with your strength attribute. So... If you found this helpful, do me a favor and smash that like button. And if you want to see and learn everything there is to see and learn about scum, do yourself a favor and smash that 
subscribe button because that's all I do every day, okay? Every single day, I do at least an hour of research outside of my gameplay, outside of my videos, and outside of my streams. Minimum an hour of research. And even when I go to sleep, I think about these things. Like everything I experienced on a daily basis when I play Scum, I think about what went wrong, what did I do, how can I fix that, how can I level up that faster. And I do, on some weekends, I do test for like eight hours, just testing the skills, testing out, you know, what the leveling process feels like. And um, yeah, put a lot of time in, into it. But hopefully this helped you. And in the next video, we're going to cover running and endurance all in the same video, okay? Running is probably going to take me a minute to explain to you guys. And then endurance probably going to take me a minute to explain to you guys. So we're going to cover running and endurance and constitution, okay, um, in the next video. And then we're going to start jumping to dexterity. Hope you guys have a great day. Cheers.